Hi everybody, I am Brian McDowell, and we have a special guest with us here on Newsline today. We are speaking with Polk County Sheriff Johnny Motes. And how are you doing today, Sheriff Motes? Doing great. How are you doing, Brian? Doing good. Tell everybody what you got coming up going on in this month of July. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to invite everybody out to the Homespun Friday and Saturday night. I'll have a booth set up at the Homespun. It's, I, I think I haven't set it up yet, but I was told it'll be kind of behind the bank where the ATM machine is, that little grassy area. We should be set up in that area somewhere. I think all the uh, public service people is going to be over there. Okay. So we'll be at a booth. We're sharing a booth with our district attorney, Jack Browning. I'm going to be there most of the day, Saturday, and then, of course, I think it starts later Friday. So that Friday evening I'll be out there as well. You know, We're going to be promoting several of our programs, but our main one we're going to be promoting is our Are You Okay program. Okay. And I've, I've been on here before, talked yes. about that, but, uh, the checks on our senior citizens. I encourage everybody to come by. We're going to have some stuff set up that, that we've been doing since I've been in office to let people know exactly what the Sheriff's Office has been doing the last almost three years and uh, all the all the programs we started for the county. And uh, I think we're going to have a little book out there that kind of shows everything we've done since we've been in office, you know, kind of promoting all our programs. And I'll, I'll be handing out a lot of our applications for the uh, Are You OK program to our senior citizens. And I would love any of the listeners are right here that, that go to a little small church it has got like a senior group that meets, you know, once a week or once a month or whatever. I would love for them to give me a call at my office and we could set up a time for me to come to their church one, one evening whenever they have their program. I'd be more than happy to, to come up and, and talk to a whole group. Okay. You know, we're really trying to get a lot of people signed up on this. We, we signed up several last time I was on the radio here, so it worked out really good. And so that's kind of died down again. I'm hoping I can reach a few more people. Okay. And uh, I think that would, uh, would be great. If, if y'all can give me a call at my office, uh, my direct line is 770-749-2931. If I'm not there, which more than likely I won't be because I'm out and about all the time, as soon as I get in, I'll get, in, I'll get the message and I'll return their call. And we'll set up a, a time and I can come to the church and, and talk about our program more in depth, how it works. Okay. And also... The following Friday, not this Friday, but the following after the homespun, we are, we got our Safe Kids Bike Rodeo. I think I talked briefly about it last yes. time I was here. We actually done the first one we've ever done. We done it last month in Cedar Town. That was kind of like the little guinea pig trial run, and uh, it done really good. We had I think we had around forty or fifty kids show up, okay. and uh, we'd love to have more here in Rockmart. And it's going to be Friday from ten to two, and the starting point will be at the Nathan. Dean Center okay. Complex, softball field complex. And it'll go on the trail from there to uh, right there at Larry Haney's new Polaris dealership. Okay. We're going to be set up there. We'll be actually cooking hot dogs and having drinks and stuff. And we'll be giving out every kid that shows up that, that does not have a bicycle helmet. We'll give them a, a brand new bicycle helmet. Oh, that's good. So uh, yep. so we're trying to get these kids to be safe. And, and this, this bike rodeo is really neat. We have like seven different stages set up that these kids have to go through and learn how to like maneuver around rocks and, you know, learn how to turn and look for cars while they're riding without swerving. It's, it's, there's like seven different stages that, that kind of helps them with their motor skills and stuff. And, uh, and if you don't have a bike, we got a lot of bikes in our safe kids trailer that, that we let the kids use. So, okay. so don't feel like if you don't have a bike, you can't come. We've got okay. some bikes that, okay. you know, may have to wait because we'll send a group at a time, then bring the bikes back. And, oh, that's good. But, uh, but I'll be out there. On my uh, patrol bike uh -oh. and my bike uniform, and actually the one in Sertown, I, I led about every group of kids huh. through all the stuff because I, I actually enjoy that. So uh, y'all try to come out for that. That'll be a great event. It's, uh, July 24th from 10 to 2. 10 to 2. Mm -hmm. And being on the Silver Comet Trail, you know, that's that's a good place to bike ride. Oh, yeah. And yes. learn, and you'll be right there, and a lot of people use that trail. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah and it's real safe. You ain't got to worry about cars hitting the little kids. So, yeah. you know, we make it really, really safe. And, uh. We have lots of volunteers, and if anybody wants to volunteer to help, you know, just contact me at that same number okay. and, and sign up to, to be a volunteer to kind of help with it because we, we, we need all the help we can get to volunteer. So. Okay. But it's, it's a great thing, and the kids love it and kind of gives the parents a break. They can, they can drop the kids off at the, at the start, and then they can go do a sh little shopping or so for an hour yeah. or so and then pick their kids back up at the, at the, the players. Yeah. 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 So uh, a lot of kids, a lot of parents done that at the, at the Cedar Town, just kind of. Had a, had a couple hour break to well, do some shopping or whatever. That's good. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
And with us on this special edition of Newsline, we had Polk County Sheriff Johnny Motes. And it was good talking to you, Sheriff Motes. Great talking to you. And I look forward to seeing everybody at the Homespun. That'll work. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you.